Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. So on this video, I'll be ranking skin tints that I have tried this past few months. I'm ranking seven skin tints today, but I actually tested more than seven. The skin tints that did not make the list has no distinct formulation for me or just didn't work. So I'm just focusing on the skin tints that really made a good impression when I used them. And one popular skin tint that really made an impression on me for the wrong reason. As usual, I'll be ranking them from my least favorite to my most favorite. So my least favorite is this very popular skin tint. This is Say's Slip Tint Tinted Moisturizer. On initial application, I can see the tint on my skin, but once I spread it, the tint just disappears. And I'm not left with that healthy glow. I was left with more of an oily look. And look at my fingers. It looks like I put oil all over it. And although I appreciate it under powder, and most skin tints, I really appreciate them once I powder them down because most skin tints are very thin and very glowy. They just really show off almost like invisible on my skin. And once I set most of my skin tint with translucent powder, I can see the coverage more than when I just put it on my skin without the setting powder. I find that to make this work, I can't just use a translucent powder. I have to use a pressed powder that provides more coverage or color or else it would really show off my texture and blemishes and all my imperfections. It also has a weird smell. It smells like Aye, aye, aye. It smells like a heavy oil and it doesn't smell like a fresh oil. It kind of smells like an old oil. If you have oily combination skin, I can't recommend this skin tint. It's just too oily for me. But if you want good skincare ingredients that the Say brand is offering, I suggest that you try the Say Hydro Bounce Foundation instead. So I really like this more than the skin tint. This just looks like an oily moisturizer on my face and I don't think it provided me with even the lightest coverage. So the next product that I'm going to show you is this e.l.f. Camo CC Cream with Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is actually a CC cream and not a skin tint but once I use this I can really compare it to most of the skin tints that I have used in terms of how it looks and how it feels on the face. I actually really like this CC cream. The reason it's sitting on my second least favorite is because if you don't know how to use this it's gonna look cakey on you. It has a lot of learning curve and it really took me a while just to know what works and what doesn't work with this CC cream. With other skin tints, applying them with your fingers is good enough but with the CC cream, I find that it doesn't really work when you use your fingertips. I find that the best way to use this is to use this with an e.l.f. putty primer to minimize my pores. And I use a small amount of the product because this has a tacky consistency. You can't use your fingers with it. And the best way to apply it is with a patting motion using a very dense brush. I like how this gives me coverage and is more more on the matte side compared to the other skin tint that I have tried. Mind you, it still looks glowy on initial application, but once it dried down, it would really give you that matte finish and especially when you put your translucent powder on top, it would continue to look demi-matte. Again, I really like the CC cream once I learned how to use it, but since I can pair it with a lot of my primers, a lot of my powder, I can't even use my fingers with it or I can't use it with other brushes, it has to be a specific very dense brush this is sitting on my least favorite now let's move on to my favorite the number three on my list is this l'oreal true match hyaluronic tinted serum this is the only drugstore skin tint that made the cut on my list of favorites. I have tried a lot of drugstore tinted serum and I could easily say that this 
tinted serum beat them all. No wonder a lot of people on TikTok and other social media platforms are really raving about this skin tint. I have to admit, I am not the biggest fan of the packaging. Look how goopy the foundation is sticking on the side of the dropper. And I don't think it's the best packaging. I usually use the side of this dropper to apply the serum on my face. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has this pearly glow in it. And on my face, it really looks very glowy. I also love how I can evenly apply this on my face. It doesn't look streaky. It just applies very smoothly on the face. And here's what I love about it the most. Once you apply your translucent powder over this tint, oh my gosh, it can make your skin appear very smooth. If you are looking for the best drugstore skin tint, I think this is it. And the only reason it's sitting on number three, even though I really, really love this, is because the other skin tints that I'm going to mention later on this video really felt very moisturizing on my face even after hours of wear while this one even though it has a hyaluronic acid and it feels light on the face it just wasn't moisturizing enough compared to the other skin tints that i will be showing later the fourth skin tint on the list is this Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. This is the sheer version of the Double Wear Foundation and this also has SPF 19. This actually reminds me of the C Slip Tint but the big difference between the two is that this one can give you coverage. This one can also give you that very glowy finish that the say slip tin gives but it is not sticky at all it feels very moisturizing but not sticky it has that perfect amount of glow so it still looks like your skin but better and it doesn't have that foul smell that the say slip tint has i really like this skin tint as well i can get oily throughout the day when i was using this so i had to touch up throughout the day if you have dry to normal skin i think that you would really appreciate this skin tint it looks very skin like and can give you a really healthy glow and it can also give you up to a medium coverage so again if you have dry to normal skin type i think that this is worth a try so sitting at number five is this rare beauty skin tint this is a skin tint that made me fall in love with skin tints this is my og holy grail skin tint this is one of the best no fuss skin tint that i have used i have used this with other primers and it works i've used this with a liquid blush on top a powder blush on top i use this with a lot of my other products and it still works i love that you can pair it with other products and it doesn't move or it doesn't thin out when you put other products so i really really love this skin tint just feels so well on my skin it almost looks invisible on it's very easy to apply you can just apply it with your fingers you can also apply it with a sponge or a brush the glow on this skin tint is not too dewy but it's also not too matte it's just the perfect amount that will give you that fresh looking skin it doesn't blur my pores so much so i have to use my charlotte tilbury airbrush powder so that it can give me that blurring effect but overall i like it so much it works well with a lot of my other products and it's also a plus that it has spf in it this is my og skin tint and i really love it so number six on the list but technically my second most favorite skin tint is this 
Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. This is a newly launched tint from Hourglass. Out of all the skin tints that I have used, this is the only one that really helped in hiding my big pores. And it doesn't cling to any of my texture. It made my skin look smoother even before putting a translucent powder on. It doesn't offer a great amount of coverage, but it is very hydrating even after hours of wear. It feels like I put on a gel moisturizer and it kept that feeling the whole time. I don't think this is the best summer skin tint for oily skin, but if you have oily skin, this will be perfect for winter months. And if you have dry to normal skin type, I think that you would appreciate this throughout the year. This just blew me away for how it feels on the skin and how smooth it can make my skin look without it looking and feeling heavy. And I like how nourishing it really made my skin feel throughout the day. And I've never found a skin tint that really helped me in blurring out my pores before setting it with powder. But with this one, I don't know what they put in it. Once I put it on my face, it really helped in blurring out my pores. And I remember the first time I used this, I had a drying pimple. And most of the time, skin tints will just slide off that texture and it wouldn't stay on it. But it stayed on it. So this one doesn't cling onto your texture or highlight your textures. I really think that this is one of the most innovative skin tint that I have seen on the market. So we're now at number seven, which is my top one favorite skin tint as of the moment. This is the Vanessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. When it comes to formulation, this one in the Hourglass is the same when it comes to it being very hydrating and moisturizing even after hours of use. But the big difference that this Danessa Myrick has is that it has a better coverage and also it stays really long on my face. I have worn this for eight hours and it still gave me that medium coverage. I didn't touch up throughout the day, but I'm pretty sure if I touch up on the eight hour and set this with a translucent powder this skin tint will still look amazing this is my number one because it ticks all the boxes on what I'm looking for on a skin tint it applies like a skincare it's not streaky it looks more glowy than the hourglass and does not blur up my pores but once I set it with powder my pores are not prominent anymore it feels so moisturizing on even after hours of wear and the thing that made it to my top one most favorite is because out of all the skin tints that I have tried this lasted me the longest I wore this for eight hours and with no touch up but I'm pretty sure on the eight hour if I had touch up my face with translucent powder the coverage will still be good it still gave me that medium coverage after eight hours of wear so if you'll notice I didn't show off every eight hour wear for each skin tint because when I use all of the skin tints it has the same effect on my skin on the fourth hour I get oily on my t-zone and then on the eight hour it almost looks like I have nothing on except for the Danessa Myricks so most of them on the eight hour just looks like I have a very very light coverage so that sums up my skin tint review I hope that you find this video helpful if you have any questions that I didn't cover on this video just comment down in the description below I'll be happy to answer them and I usually get asked what shade my foundations are so every time I show my foundation I'm putting a caption underneath on what shade it is and also I have a timestamp so what you can do is click on the time where it says shade and if you click that it will point you to the time where I was saying what shade the foundation is and I also put it on the description down below so I have all my foundation list and across it is what my shade is so i hope that that clarifies some of the confusion when it comes to my foundation shade thank you so so much dolls again for watching please don't forget to like this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated 
once a new video is out. Thank you so much also again. Have a great day everyone.